is ravaging our countries all over the world. In fact, as at last Friday, Nigeria was the 49th country to confirm uh, the case of coronavirus. So let's quickly take the cards. Um, as we're seeing all over the world right now, governments are stepping up efforts to contain the virus. I did tell you what China uh, is doing. I told you that last week. In fact, they are even destroying some of their notes. Or their, yeah, they are destroying some of their notes that they feel are infected. Uh, close to, I think, about $6 billion north of uh, Yuan, all the renminbi. For those they are not destroying, they are uh, disinfecting them with ultraviolet uh, lights. Uh, so some governments are also putting uh, other things in place, like Hong Kong giving permanent residents between the ages of 18 and above about $10,000, that's Hong Kong uh, dollars, to help stem the effect of the coronavirus. Small businesses have been also been given a rebate in Hong Kong. We also see in China, uh, the loan rate has been dropped, you know, quite a whole lot of efforts here and there. Stimulus also coming in from some parts of Europe to help stem up, uh, step up uh, the effect, or, you know, mitigate the effect of coronavirus. Nigeria reported its first case last Thursday. Uh, like I said earlier, 49th country to do so. Indonesia has announced its first two cases. Iran is reporting 11 more deaths, and the death toll in Iran has hit 54. In fact, there are reports that uh, coronavirus was first confirmed, you know, was first, uh, first ravaged uh, Iran during the elections. And, you know, politicians did not really want to say, say it so that it doesn't affect their turnout. And now uh, Iran is being affected. Deputy uh, minister, I think Deputy Health Minister, we saw last week or two weeks ago, sweating profusely, he was also confirmed to have uh, the virus. Uh, Italy, which is the epicenter of the outbreak in Europe, the number of infected people have climbed to 1,694. And for the index case we have in Nigeria, uh, the man came from uh, Italy. Still in Europe, French government says the effect will be larger than previous estimates. In fact, at the beginning of this, you know the coronavirus outbreak uh, was uh, in December last year. And a lot of analysts, business analysts were like, okay, fine. Uh, we cannot estimate what the coronavirus uh, outbreak would do now. It's too early to say, but the French government is saying that the effect will be larger than previous estimates. For Czech Republic, Scotland, as well as Dominican Republic, they have confirmed their first cases. So cases around the world are uh, rising uh, day by day. Kuwait has also reported 10 new uh, cases. Uh, the first community transmission has been reported in Australia. I think it was done today, earlier today. That's in Australia, they are in the evening right now, uh, you know, preparing to sleep in some few hours. Uh, so the first community transmissions uh, were reported in Australia. If we're taking a look at companies that have reacted to uh, the outbreak of coronavirus, Nike has temporarily closed its uh, Europe's headquarters uh, in uh, Netherlands. Last week also, to Tokyo's Disneyland says it would close for two weeks. That's Universal Studios. It will close, close for two weeks. We see McDonald's, Starbucks, Apple also scaling down their operations in countries hit by the coronavirus. Kazakhstan says that it will bar Iranian officials, our Iranian nationals, I beg your pardon, uh, from entering uh, the country. Meanwhile, South Korea has also reported nearly 500 new cases and four deaths. The worldwide toll is taking, a uh, worldwide toll that's talking about deaths, passing about 3,000 as I speak, but over 85,000 uh, cases. R China reported 42 new deaths. Okay, so that's it. Updates on the corona.